Convicted serial killer Elizabeth Wetlawfer has been transferred from a prison to a hospital in Quebec. Some of her victims' families notified earlier this year about the move, but not told exactly where she'd gone. This week, they've been told she's at a secure psychiatric facility in Montreal. CTV's Nicole Lampa spoke with the family about who, who found out about the location just yesterday. That's right, Nancy. Daniel Sick Silcox's father, James, was Wetlawfer's first of eight murder victims. Silcox became upset when Corrections Canada wouldn't tell him exactly where Wetlawfer was moved to, so he decided to take action on his own. Former nurse Elizabeth Wetlawfer admitted to killing eight seniors under her care. She was convicted last year and sentenced to life in prison. Wetlawfer was placed at Grand Valley Institution for Women in Kitchener. Wetlawfer's first victim was James Silcox. Earlier this year, his son was told Wetlawfer was being moved to Quebec for medical reasons. I started getting very curious as to why she was gone for so long for medical purposes. I contacted uh, victim services. Silcox says last week he was told by Corrections Canada they couldn't disclose Wetlawfer's exact location. Well, there are a lot of families involved and they're not telling us where she is. This was totally inappropriate, was not fair, was not right. Silcox went to the media with his concerns. Wednesday morning, Silcox says Corrections Canada called him, letting him know Wetlawfer is at Institute Philip Pinel in Montreal. The secured psychiatric hospital runs under a model with no armed guards and no traditional prison guards. But now he's worried Wetlawfer may have access to internet, music and sports. Bars would be a nice touch. She does not have the sense that she is incarcerated. That's my fear right now. If she were to say, gee, it's lovely in here, I would not be happy. Silcox says he's conflicted, acknowledging Wetlawfer is mentally unwell, but concerned, feeling like she's being groomed for a possible early release. Wetlawfer was sentenced in June of 2017 to life in prison with no chance of parole for 25 years. We'll have more reaction on this story tonight at 6. Nancy. Nicole Lampa in the newsroom.